This is Hannibal here. AEW aired the uh, CM Punk versus Jack Perry backstage altercation footage from Wembley Stadium. The whole video is less than a minute. There's no sound. The actual aggressive part is maybe five to eight or nine seconds. There's not much to it. Uh, Punk definitely looks like the aggressor. Pushes him, pushes Jack Perry, who, who, by the way, it's clear in this, Jack Perry is much smaller than CM Punk. And Samoa Joe, uh, one of the toughest guys in wrestling, everyone respects. He was he was watching it from from very close by, getting ready for his match. Uh, but, but he had an eye on it. He got in there right away, and it was pulled apart right away. You can see that Tony Khan is behind the table. This seems to be right around the gorilla position. And CM Punk kind of lunges towards Tony Khan in the video. I had to watch it uh, about three times to see that part properly. So maybe that's the part where, where Tony Khan was upset having a wrestler lunge at him. Say what you want, Tony Khan is a small guy. And, and definitely Jack Perry, he didn't back down from this. Once once the pull-apart was there, he was he was trying to get at, back at Punk. I don't know why they've waited so long to put Jack Perry back on TV. Uh, because this is the most buzz he's had about him in, in his career. I don't think this is in any way bad for CM Punk. I mean, he's on the competition's channel. To me, WWE had it right back in the day where they would never really, for a while at least anyways, they would never acknowledge WCW and WCW was always bringing up WWE and it, it eventually ended up hurting WCW. It's kind of better to, to not acknowledge that first of all, CM Punk is one of the top stars in WWE now and he did look more aggressive in this situation. I mean, I think the only thing that would have made... I don't think it's going to affect CM Punk's popularity at all, to be honest with you. Could I understand why Tony Khan fired him? He's going up aggressively pushing someone, throwing them in a front face lock, then lunging at Tony Khan. Uh, if he gave him... Tony just gave him too much power, and he felt like he had too much control. I, I couldn't see him doing that in WWE. The bosses are more bosses in WWE. But, but yeah, overall, I don't know if this does anything for AEW other than maybe get them a better rating tonight. You can give me your opinion in the uh, in the comments. Uh, and it shows that Punk's respects Samojo because once, once Samojo got in there, it kind of ended. But, uh, but yeah, I could see how Tony Khan would be scared. He's not a fighter. He's uh, That's probably one of the tensest situations he's ever been in. And despite CM Punk maybe not having the best UFC career of all time, he is still trained in MMA and he's physically a lot bigger than Tony Khan. So yeah, I could I could understand why Tony Khan would have been afraid, but I don't think this video, I don't think anyone seeing this video is going to not be a CM Punk fan out of this. If anything, it's going to make them want to watch... WWE to see to see if he addresses the situation or not but hey for the first time I actually was looking forward to seeing something from Dynamite and I and I like AEW and I like T Tony Khan I like that they're competition they give guys like Jake the Snake contracts for I don't even know if he's still managing Lance Archer or not I know he hasn't the past bunch of times but they take care of a lot of wrestlers and they've put the salaries up for wrestlers so I don't I don't hold anything against them I just question that this will have any negative effect on punk if anything it will show that Tony Khan probably did have a reason to be scared he's not a wrestler he's not a fighter he's a small guy he's getting lunged at by a guy that just pushed violently and choked another wrestler and at some point, I don't know, you got to have a little bit more control of that in, a, in a, an environment where everybody's making, CM Punk's probably making in the millions, Jack Perry is making 
probably at least 150,000, and there's other people in the area that, that could have got hurt in the skirmish that all have value. So I understand everyone's side to it.